And I know you'll keep us up to date. And actually, here on Breakfast, we'll be speaking to both the airline British Airways and also Balpa as well in the next hour or so. So thank you. The head of a US aid agency has compared the damage caused by Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas to that inflicted by a nuclear bomb. Westminster and throughout the morning to keep you right up to date with developments there. At 10 past seven, though, Eddie Redmayne says it's absolutely wonderful to be working again with Felicity Jones in their new film, The Aeronauts, their last movie together, The Theory of Everything, won Redmayne and Oscar. The Aeronauts had its premiere at the Toronto Film Festival last night and our entertainment correspondent Lisa Mazimba was there. So, it is the start of another big week in Westminster. I'm going to try and count how many times I've said that, John, but it must be into the dust. What can I'm you joking. tell us? I can tell you, Louise, it is set to be another momentous week. for British Airways today, actually, but one that the airline would probably rather forget as its pilots go on strike for the first time. Ben's got the very latest on that for us this morning. Morning. Yeah, morning to you. Historic for all the wrong reasons. Thanks very much. Morning to you too. Yes, that's... Thank you. Um, the pop singer Jessie Nelson from Little Mix says there needs to be tougher consequences for online trolls after she was bombarded with so many cruel comments. And we can see very much uh, this is very much an ongoing situation. What more can you tell us? Morning. It just looks absolutely devastating. Thank you very much, Greg. Thanks for bringing us up to date. Uh, the biggest strike action in the history of British Airways got underway this morning, causing disruptions for tens of thousands of passengers. The airline it's going to be another momentous day. Oh, goodness. Keep watching, everybody. Yes, just keep watching. We'll try <laughs> and uh, just guide you through it. That's pretty much all we can do at the moment. Anyway. Um, Have a little look at the chat behind you. Look at look that. Look at I love that. Raph and Adar. I don't know if you can see this at home, everyone, but look at all the little plasters I'm over at those. his fingers. He does. It's working for right, him. Isn't it? Been billed as actually one of the greatest US Open finals of all time because overnight Rafa Nadal beat Daniel Medvedev to claim his fourth US Open title. It's not very often the guests go and hug the, <laughs> hug the presenter, but that was rather lovely, wasn't it? Brilliant for her. Huge congratulations. So there was a lot of shouting in my household when that was going on. Were so. you cheering her on? I didn't know what the shouting was about and I found out too late. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> well done to Pippa. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see you a little bit later. Um, so, um, you're watching BBC Breakfast. I'm here in the studio. Um, today we've sent John. K to go and man uh, Westminster for us. <laughs> Morning again. Keeping your. You know what? I think you're absolutely right. Uh, thank you for reminding us of that. See you later. <laughs> um, if you were planning to fly somewhere with British Airways today or tomorrow, there's a good chance your plans have been disrupted by the airline's first ever pilot strike. Ben has got more on that right now. Morning again. Morning. Yeah, going nowhere fast this morning. Uh, all the flights from BA cancelled as a. Get a sense of that this morning. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. The head of a US aid agency has compared the damage caused by Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas to that inflicted by a nuclear bomb. You are watching Breakfast. Let's get you right up to date uh, with all the latest news and MPs will vote for a second time today on whether to hold an early general election. It's expected that Boris took this morning and listening to them, Ben, there seems at this point to be no way forward, does there? No, and we should be fair. Um, pilots took a pay cut a bit about why he mm. thinks it's fair. You heard both sides of that debate, the boss of BA and then that's over just two days. So a significant blur for them to do. But it's interesting. I've just spoken to a pilot at BA and he just changes any time soon. Um, OK, Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's get more right now on the uh, Prime Minister's meeting with the Irish Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar, in the next half an hour in Dublin. Our correspondent, Helena Wilkinson, is there for us. Uh, morning to you. And I suppose, you know, from the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson's point of view, a breakthrough might be a good thing. Thank you very much for that. Um, it is 8.36, coming up on Breakfast this morning. Sally. Cannot wait to hear from Mike. I know. I think he's a full, what, 36 minutes into his first day of training? Is that, is that, is that, is that <laughs> did it start at 8? I think it started at 8 this morning. What do you think he's learned? <laughs> Let's, but we'll find Not out sure. in about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> anyway, we started with Rafa Nadal this morning because if you're just waking up, what you've missed overnight is an incredible game of tennis. It's been billed as one of the greatest US Open finals of all time. Nadal, story for you, Pippa Funnel won the Burley Horse Trials, her first major win for 14 years. The I'd love that. I One, was, a competitor so... just needs a hug I... from Claire Balding at the I end. I know, she was so excited. Many, many congratulations to her. Um, just great news and, and such an amazing return as well. Brilliant, Stay yeah. Stay with me for our next guest, would you, Sally? Shall I? You'll We've see got why. a special guest on. I'll do the proper introduction. Go on. 
Um, it's back to work for most of us this morning, including the team here at breakfast. Well, I mean, I haven't really been away. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, for Mike, it's the start of a new routine, a training for Strictly Come Dancing. On Saturday's launch show, we saw the birth of Bush Cat, as he has called them, um, as he was partnered with professional Katja Jones. That's Dance studio in Winchester. Baby. Good Good morning to you both. I hardly dare interrupt, Katya. It's Sally in the studio. Are you aware that wherever Mike goes, wherever he goes in the street, he gets mobbed? He literally can't walk down the street for a door. <laughs> Look at her face. For a door. What are you most looking forward to, Mike? Have you got? I mean, I, I understand you thought that one of them was actually a pudding. Is this right? Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Surprises oh, yeah. over the next few weeks. Mike, I, I hope I'm not betraying a confidence when I, I let people know that we were chatting at the weekend <laughs> about how it's going to go. One of the things we talked about is the fact that once Katya has her heels on, she's a little bit taller than energy we've got. <laughs> Really, honestly, I don't know how you're going to get any rehearsals done, you two. You <laughs> never stop chatting. Um, just, a little, just one point. Um, there's quite a lot of pressure on you because, let's face it, uh, sport presenters, no pressure on you, Sally, um, on this BBC Breakfast sofa, have had a very good run on Strictly mm. Come Dancing. We've just two winners. Oh. Two winners out of two. The team name now, Bush Cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're there. Thank and, you very much jump. indeed. Someone, I'm someone going to interrupt you push so you can get on with your rehearsals. That's it. Bye. Goodbye. Yes, Enjoy. Yeah. You're brilliant. Okay. Should we do our jump? Thank you. I can't never gonna wait. Stop talking, I are they? cannot wait to see Mike with a full-on spray tan. And honestly, one of my favourite things is again when you go out, you know, around and about with Mike. People go, "Oh yeah, congratulations on when he really yeah, comes out singing." It's great. But that was actually Chris Hollins. <laughs> Quite different. Um, anyway, um, he's going to be brilliant. He's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, they've got a couple of weeks to practice ahead of the next live show, which will be on BBC One on Saturday, September the twenty-first. And I will be watching. Uh, it's ten to nine. Let's catch up on the weather. Matt's got all the details. Morning. Quite something, aren't they, as well? Uh, Matt, thank you very much for keeping me company this morning. No problem. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Um, he's so cheery. Um, it was the daytime TV show which became a cult classic with garish team sweaters, a cheesy catchphrase and, and a trolley dash finale. And uh, now Supermarket Sweep is heading back to our screens with a new presenter ready to go wild in the aisles. Ryan and Clark Neal. Good morning. <laughs> you said that really well. How was that? <laughs> um, before we talk to you, let's have a quick look. It's here with me now. Oh, lovely to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks Come for having see me. Um, it looks, it, it, on, on paper, it just doesn't, wouldn't, wouldn't seem to work, this show, but it's no. so funny, isn't it? It is. It's, well, we've got all new checkout assistants. Oh, no. Yes, we have got new checkout <laughs> assistants who you're going to love. I've got a security guard because, you know, tough times, tough times. Lovely Gary. Um, he happens to the food because there are people concerned about the waste of food, weren't yes, they? Yes, so it is. It's I'm just looking at what you're up to at the moment and I'm exhausted just looking at oh, it. Thanks. So, <laughs> super, <laughs> <laughs> supermarket <laughs> sweep. Uh, a new show will come to in a minute. You are what you wear. Uh, ready, steady, cook. Uh, your Radio 2 show on an after uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, Strictly Come Dancing, it takes two. Yeah. My goodness me. Um, <laughs> so let's start with Ready, Steady, Cook, because another, you know, really, really popular show. What's it like? To, what, I mean, are you excited about presenting? I, I'm so excited. Master Chef, didn't I did, you? yeah. And so that's, you know, that. so you know how about how, <laughs> so, how yeah, to cook. Yeah. Well, you know how hard yeah, it is as it's well. It's hard. There's no fakeness with that show either. If you've got an hour, you've got an hour. It's not an hour and ten. Oh, yeah. That, you're absolutely right. Everybody might assume that it's not. Um, so, <laughs> so the same pressure for people. What's your advice, people going into Ready, Steady, Cook? My advice is very well on Ready, Steady, Cook. I got something. <laughs> did you get I, a mug? Did you get like I a loser's I'm, mug? I, I think, I, yes, and I must have lost a loser's mug as well. I'll sort you out another one. <laughs> <laughs> Not, yeah, but yeah, that's lovely. Um, and tell me about your Radio 2 show because um, your mum's in it quite a lot. That's mum, I just said one week, wouldn't it be funny if I just called my mum up on the air and she ate them You should mom. get your. No, she was. <laughs> she needs it, more of she's, she's got sticky fingers, my mum. There, there were a few <laughs> sweets would have went on the missing. Um, <laughs> and how does it feel? Because you are, you know, you're seriously um, in demand, lots of lovely shows to be presenting. How does it feel? Do you know what, it feels good, like, up, up to week as well. Brilliant. For a month on okay. ITV2 at Brilliant. 8. It's lovely, lovely to see you. Thank you very no, much. Thanks so much Ryan for having Clark me. Neal, um, who's presenting so many shows, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, Supermarket Sweep starts ITV 8pm on ITV2, doesn't it? ITV2 tonight, tonight yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I will be speaking to singer-songwriter Mahalia in a moment. First, though, a last brief look at the headlines, wherever you are.
Got your first record deal, what, age 13? Yes. My goodness me. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Were you writing when you were 13, do you think? that What, what was it about you that made them sign you? <laughs> which, which you certainly have. Um, the, the album, and a lot, lots of, I've been looking this morning, lots of people saying, why is it, you know, it's taken, you know, you're now 21, it's taken yeah. that long to have an album. Yeah. How excited are you finally to have it out there? So excited. And I feel I do it. And I, I think in my head, I just, yeah, it's amazing. I suppose that's the thing when you're writing songs like you do, you know, the people who you're talking about, will know <laughs> they always know they always know. or i i actually did warn i wish i missed my way of coping with it yeah is it? exactly and what's compromise for you what do you not like to compromise that comes out in the album what about your fans because you've got you know legions of them yeah. <laughs> the seven year old and the six 60 year old <laughs> So, all, I mean, all of my aunties, all of my, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really lovely to meet you. Thank nice you very much. You. So the debut album is called Love and Compromise, and it is out right now. Real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, before we finish today's show, we're going to get a final word from John Kay, who you know is in charge of Westminster this morning, along with our political correspondent, Chris Mason.